Guess what this is? Only floor! <laughs> that was bad. This is Max, and I'm Sophie, and this week we might finally have a floor. But before we get to that point, we need to finish our LPG system, so all of the pipe work and regulator and all that kind of stuff. We need to add our wastewater tank under the van, and we also need to dip our diesel pickup for our diesel heater, and then we can lay the floor. So, so maybe we'll have a floor by the end of the week. Maybe. Fingers Who crossed. Knows? All the fingers crossed. Let's get started. Where are we going? To the tour station at Screw Fix again. Uh, our second home at this point. <laughs> For the 14th time today. <laughs> so much Screw Fix. Right, next bit we are fitting is the steel pigtail and the regulator. So we have a solenoid valve rather than a tap on the output of our tank, uh, which has a little cap on it at the minute. This steel pigtail is going to connect to that and screw on, and then the other end is going to connect to our regulator. So the nipple that's there, this copper kind of brass colour bit fits right up onto it, and then this screws over to hold it into place. Something we don't want to put a little bit too much tape on. I'll try and do that again. Beautiful. Oh no. What? I should put it on the other end. Oh no. This video is a mess. <laughs> You're a mess. There we go one day there. Like that. Going up the tea. Heavy breathing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how easy everything should go on. Still accessible, still open, but we can uh, protect it from some of the mess in the world. <laughs> One of those for my life. <laughs> Olive inside it. Mm. Oh, see, that's not on properly. Start that again. Ignore everything we've done so far. Yeah, we screwed up. What did we screw up? So the olive, we didn't have all the way on the copper pipe, so now it's pinched the end, and we can't push the copper pipe back through it. So we're going to get a need to get a fresh olive and. Uh, and try again. And try again. So watch this space. So now the regulator is in its little housing we've built, hiding away from some uh, splashing up from the wheels. So he's gonna reattach the steel pigtail to the regulator, aren't you? Yeah. 
Oh, there we go. Does that look okay? I can't see it. Sure. <laughs> Which way am I going? Why you you we've come to a point with the LPG tank. We gave up. <laughs> we came up against enough challenges that we have had to stop for the day. Yeah. So we're gonna do the waste tank and then go go home and have a beer. <laughs> Which beer is needed? What you got there? We have our waste water tank, which is gonna be used for our shower and sink run off into. Um, we're doing a composting toilet so don't have any black waste going into it. It's going to be grey, shower and sink. Uh, most of the sink stuff will probably just chuck out from the washing up bowl. Um, we don't want it to get super stinky. Yeah. So we're going to be quite careful with it. So now we're going to look at installing our waste tank, um, which again, like the LPG tank, is on some Unistrut. And we're going to use some 8mm threaded bar um, down to some plates to wedge it in place. And then it's going to join onto this Unistrut over to the uh, passenger side of our van. So it's going to sit just below where our sink and shower are going to be, which is going to be useful. Just been tightening these nuts so that they lock. Stop it. <laughs> so we know they're level down here. We need to make sure it's level up here. So that's the next bit. Back to you in the studio. So on the top side here, we also have that metal band. Um, another two nuts to lock it up with going up to the Unistrap. And again here, metal band. You know, straight. So it will be nice and solid once we uh, get it all locked off and level and in place. So that's got a million and one chins going on. Give me a minute. Oh. Don't fit. Cool. Locked in. Oh, watch out. <laughs> Sorry, actually, that wasn't actually an accident. <laughs> Three, this at me. So we've just spent a minute levelling off the tank, so adjusting the uh, bolts along the threaded bar to get the tank um, horizontally and kind of vertically with the van. Um, where we want it level-wise, draining to one end, so the, when we're draining out, it kind of collects at one end. So we're now going to put these bolts down at the bottom on top of the plate to lock it into place, and then these uh, threaded bars can be chopped off. This is lazy engineering. So, are we on schedule? We are on schedule, yes. I'm gonna say yes. Just though, we got most of the LPG installed. But most of it. So don't take it off. Mm, it needed to come over a little bit to today. Um, and today, which is Wednesday, we did the wastewater tank install. Yes. Did we paint the scutter panel? No. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. And we're oh also no. going to do the LPG tank tomorrow. Duh. Because we're waiting on one final part. So tomorrow, what are we going to do? Uh, tomorrow we have some... We need to paint the scuttle panel. We need to install the coolant line. So that's for our little uh, heater, water heater. Um, put in the diesel heater dip. So that's going to be sucking out the diesel from our big diesel tank. Um, we need to put in the ducting, is that what that says? It sounds like ducking. Ducting for the heater and then we also need to um, finish fitting the LPG. And if we get all of that done, what do we get to do on Friday? Lay the floor. Oh, this is like a big thing. Yay. I'm very excited about Friday. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. What are we doing? Right now I'm fixing the end of the uh, copper pipe um, and then we're going to route the copper piping where it's going, attach it in place and just leave the end so we 
can add the connector when the new connector arrives. And what are we attaching it to the bodywork with? Um, those things in your flanges. <laughs> so we've roughly rooted our copper pipe work, which is an 8mm copper pipe for our gas system, and where we want it, so from the regulator, along the chassis where some other cables are running, and then we're going to go across to the side where the cooker is. Um, we've roughly bent this into shape uh, just by hand because it's nice and flexible. Um, we're now going to put it uh, inside our conduit um, and then attach it into place uh, and get it nice and secure. So pretty. So sexy. Even sexy and Don't. Don't you want me? <laughs> Okay, another really important part of the gas system is this tape. Now, this is the big warning tape to tell people not to cut through our copper piping. So, we're gonna whack it on everywhere so people know it's the gas and not something else that they can cut through. <laughs> is that right? Correct. I think we can tick LPG off the list. Yes! We just need to fit that connector, but we can't do that till the olives arrive. Do I do the honours? LPG install. Tick. One step closer to laying the floors. What's that? This is our fuel dip that we're going to put into our diesel heater tank and some slightly upgraded uh, fuel hose that's a uh, uh, proper fuel rated rubber hose in a braided. Um, I don't know what it is, braided outer layer, sheath, that's a nice word. <laughs> um, it's four mil, um, which is what we go run to our pump, which is going to connect onto the end of here. And it's better than what the they tank, sent us. Than the, the Chinese, Chinese plastic one. piping. So if we come over to here, we're going to dipity dip. So first step is going to be removing this, so it's got a Jubilee clip on it. We're going to need to undo that for the air output and then take this out. Yeah. yeah. That was easier than we thought. So the next thing we're going to do is measure how deep we want this thing sucking fuel out. So obviously we're tapping into our actual diesel tank. So we don't want to be running this heater during the night and it suck up all of our fuel for then being able to move on the next day. So what we're going to do is uh, cut it off kind of inch two inches off the bottom of the tank. We do have dual tanks, so that will give us enough fuel to then move on the next day. Um, we are obviously gonna carry spare diesel, but we didn't wanna be those idiots that are having to run and get fuel from the side of the road. And then have to bleed and all sorts of nonsense. Because we've been there and we don't wanna do it again. That's a different story. <laughs> mm. We search at lunch. So we need to drill a hole in the top of this um, for our fuel uh, kind of dip into the tank, but we haven't got a drill bit big enough. So we're going back to tool station or screw fix. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> 80 mil. That's a big that. drill bit. <laughs> wow. Our daily trip. Mm. Well, one of many. They know us by name now. That looks so ridiculous. <laughs> wow. Say about you. <laughs> so we've now got a hole through the top of our um, kind of makeshift pickup for the fuel tank. And so our proud he is of it. <laughs> fits just like that. Right, we've now got to chop the end off the dipstick. We had one thing left on the schedule, which was the coolant pipes, but they were really hard, so we went straight to putting the floor down. Guess what this is? Our new floor! What are we doing today? We are laying our new floor, uh, old floor, new floor, 
So it's our old floor. We've given it a coat of paint underneath and filled some holes in, as you saw in the video just before, I think. So all the lovely stuff we've done is now going to be hidden and we can't see it. But it's okay because it's never going to rot. It's all good. And we're going to put it in now. To me. <laughs> to me. To you. So as you can see, we're going to start by doing a bit of a dry fit to check we've got the right pieces first. This is what we're going to use to stick it down. All of this. Which way around? Which way around, indeed. So we have a bit of a problem. We've fitted this unistrut and we've got big old bolts sticking up above the floor line. So we're now going to have to drill some holes in here so that they fit. And it's going to work perfectly first time, isn't it? 12. <laughs> how deep is your love? Is your love? How deep is your nut? Approximately one how centimetre. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that is ridiculous drill bit. In the world. It looks so much better on the underneath than it is on top now. <laughs> underneath is beautiful and smart and even, and the top's a bit mucky, but... <laughs> and scratched and horrible. We're gonna lift this back up now, and then... Stick it down again. With... Black silicon. Ooh. We're primarily using a general purpose black UV and waterproof silicon. Beautifully modelled here from a shop that shall not be named. So, yeah, should do the trick. Let's go. We run two parallel beads so that nothing can get into the centre of the chassis um, and make sure they're nice and thick and then dance all over it to squish it all down. We have a floor! Friday, lay floor, complete it mate. Yes! <laughs> How do you feel about having a floor? I'm so happy about having a floor. Why? Because I was I was falling off of this floor. <laughs> Every time I had to go do something or go get something, it was like walking a tightrope and I'm covered in bruises and scratches and and now that won't happen anymore. I can walk. Good job. <laughs> Back to work. Back to work. And there we have it, our floor is down. Yes, I'm so excited. We are so excited we got that down. <laughs> and what is coming next? Um, oh goodness, I guess it's the hard work now. Insulation, yeah. cladding, actually building the van. Windows, vents. Oh my goodness. Cutting more holes. More holes. <laughs> but that's in the future. But if you've enjoyed this week, please can you like and subscribe, share the video, tell your nan. We really appreciate it. And if you have anything to help us in the future, please add it down here. and. I guess we'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye. You are one with the van. Van is I and I am back. <laughs> <laughs>